Hello everyone, this is Leo from Generates Blocks and Generates Press. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to replicate this hover box layout from the template library of Generates Blocks Pro. We will be using features such as background overlay, shapes, clickable containers, plus some effects. Let's get started. As usual, I've created a new page and set the content container in Generates Press to full width. Now let's go ahead and add our first container. Open up the spacing options. For padding, we will use 40 for the top, 20 on the right, 120 for the bottom and 20 pixels on the left. Next, we will add a background color to the container. And change the opacity to 0 0.1. Now let's add some shapes. The first shape we're going to add is triangle 10. We will set the color to white. Location from bottom to top. Reduce the height to 120 pixels, keep the width at 100%, and we will add a Z index of zero. Let's add a second shape. For this one, we will use triangle 11, color white again, Location bottom, height will be 200 pixels, width 100%. Now let's go ahead and add a headline block with an icon. Add our content. You can see that it's getting blocked by the shape divider. So we can fix this by going back to the container, go to spacing, and set the inner index to two. So now we can see our headline block. We will set text align to center, element to paragraph. Let's open up the topography panel. Font weight bold. Transform uppercase. Font size we will go with 17 and letter spacing, we will go with 0 0.2 EM. Now let's go to the icon panel and add in our icon. For icon location, we will use above. And icon size, we will go with 1.8 EM. Now we're ready to add a grid wrapper, which holds the clickable containers. I will start with a full grid. and set the container width to 50%.
let's open up the spacing panel next and we will go with 160 pixels of top and bottom padding with 80 pixels of left and right padding. Next, we will upload the background image. Reduced the image opacity to 0 0.9 and leave the rest to the default setting. Now let's head back up to the colors panel and add some background color for the normal state, which we will go with white and then hover state. We will go with a purplish blue. Now let's make the hover color change a bit smoother by adding a transition effect. We will use all the default value here. Now let's take a look. The last step is to make the container itself clickable, which is super easy if you have Generates Blocks Pro. All you have to do is click the link button here. We'll use hashtag and that's it. Once we're happy with the layout, we can select the container and click the plus icon here to duplicate what we've just created. Now let's go back to the grid wrapper so we can adjust the horizontal gap to let's say 20 pixels and vertical gap also to 20 pixels. So now we've finished replicating the layout here. We can take a step further by adding a headline block inside the container. Adding some content, set a background color to black, reduce the opacity, change the text color, let's say to white. We will use inline width so the background color only covers the length of the text. We'll add an effect to the headline block when we hover over the container. So first, we need to select the container. Open up the effects panel again. We'll add a transform effect this time. Type, we will use translate. On all devices, state hover, target custom selector, 
gb dash headline translate x we will go with 100 pixels translate y we will go with 100 pixels again let's take a quick look first Now, in order to make this smooth, simply click Add Transition. Now, take a look. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.